And all of a sudden, he's the Al Horford who left in the first place. If you remember, his first tour of duty with Boston was very, very good. Uh, he just took the money and, and went to Philadelphia. Sam, look who we see right now. M.A. Udoka, first-year head coach. And remember where this team was on January 6th. They were in 11th place in the East. Now they're representing the East in the NBA Finals. But I would say this about that man, M.A. Udoka. He stood steadfast. When they had a losing record, he came to that podium every night, and he talked about their inability to play as a team, not passing, not trusting, not making that extra pass. And then Marcus Smart comes out. You've seen a lot a long time, Sean. Mm -hmm. A lot of players, especially star players, would have taken that the wrong way. They, don't they like took it. it the right way, yep. and they're going to the NBA Finals because of it. Yeah. Celtics took a 15-point lead at the end of the first quarter. We know now that they're 22-0 in Game 7s uh, when they lead after one. That 15-point lead, the most they've ever had in a Game 7 after one quarter. How critical was that, even though Miami fought back, but to get out to that lead early where it was just insurmountable? Well, not only get out to the lead, but getting out to the lead on the road mm -hmm. in, in, in Miami Arena, uh, where, you know, they've got the crowd against you, and they basically brought the intensity. I mean, they got this team through. Mid-January, playing some solid ball, defense all year. Uh, all of a sudden, the star player saying, hey, you know what, maybe we need to share the ball a little bit more. And then that treacherous playoff run, having to go through Brooklyn and those two star players, having to go through the defending champion Bucks and Giannis, okay, and having to win a game seven on the road in Miami. That's pretty good. Yeah, and they are headed to the finals again for the first time since 2010. So with this group that has been so close uh, three times in the past decade, getting through on this fourth time in the Eastern Conference Finals. 1664, Sam. Wow. Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain going head-to-head -head in that one. Let me guess who won. Mm, let me take a wild guess. Wild. Bill Russell. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, when you hear that kind of history, to see those two franchises, I mean, the Warriors now have over 200 uh, franchise playoff wins. We we all know what the Celtics are historically. This is a great match. But at the end of the day, they need a little bit more talent. Mm -hmm. Jimmy Butler could not and Bam could not bring them to the finish line by themselves. Look, that culture, to me, the only team in the NBA who could have got to the, the Eastern Conference Finals with the lack of talent throughout that roster the way Miami has is that team because of that culture, who they are, and their belief in themselves. So that, that look, they had an unbelievable season. For them to be the number one seed in the East with all with, with Brooklyn and 